Family News. I'm Rusty Pugh. President Biden makes a surprise trip to Kiev, Ukraine, to meet with President Zelensky. Peter Duzzi reports. As recently as Friday, we were told there were no plans for the president to visit Ukraine. The White House was publishing a schedule for reporters in Washington, D.C., but that was all part of a very elaborate ruse, essentially, to uh, give the Secret Service and the U.S. military time to prepare this visit. According to a very small traveling press pool that was with the president in Kiev, uh, he did not announce any kind of new assistance that, that the Ukrainians have not already received, but he did say they're going to get at least a half a billion more dollars in uh, security assistance. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is raising concerns that China may be considering providing lethal support to Russia amid the ongoing conflict with Ukraine. Secretary Blinken addressed the issue while speaking on ABC's This Week. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina also weighing in, saying he believes China would be making a mistake to assist Russia. If you jump on the Putin train now, you're dumber than dirt. It would be like buying a ticket on the Titanic after you saw the movie. Don't do this. New updates have emerged in the East Palestine, Ohio train derailment. Alexandria Hoff with more. More toxic chemicals were released than initially reported after the Norfolk Southern train derailed over two weeks ago. So vinyl chloride, one of the substances on board, had, had was burned off to avoid an explosion. That was that enormous plume we all saw. It's known to increase the risk of cancer. But as the cleanup of that site continues, officials maintain that the water and air are safe. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who waited 10 days after the derailment to address it, he sent a letter to Norfolk Southern, their CEO, demanding that the company, quote, live up to its commitment to make residents whole. Norfolk Southern CEO did visit East Palestine this weekend. Buttigieg has not yet been. After street racers took over an intersection in Austin, Texas, city leaders are shining a light on the police department's recruitment struggles. Lauren Blanchard has more. In between the street racing, spinning in circles and blocking traffic, people were shooting off fireworks, even at police cars. A crowd swarming and forcing a patrol car back. One officer injured. Several police cars were damaged. The police department is understaffed from officers on the streets to 911 operators. They also had to lower minimum job requirements just to fill an unprecedented number of job openings. In 2020, the Austin City Council voted to slash the police budget during the defund the police movement by $150 million. The police budget was reinstated in 2021, but not before officers had left in mass. Medical personnel are working hard in Turkey to save as many lives as possible in the aftermath of the recent earthquake. Charlie Butts has an update. After the February 6th 7.8 massive earthquake struck in Turkey and Syria, Samaritan's PERS flew a hospital, medical personnel, and other staff to Turkey to start the huge task of mending wounds. Samaritan's PERS spokeswoman Mel Wubbs is in Ankara. Devastation has been immense, including damage to the infrastructure of the hospital system here. So we are here on the Ministry of Health to set up and run our emergency field hospital to be able to provide acute care services here in the Antakya region. Antakya is the biblical Antioch. She also describes the situation as one that would make people in America appreciate their nine-to-five jobs. We are seeing patients who have suffered initial injuries in the earthquake, broken bones, wounds, and also dealing with just regular health care issues here now that there's no hospital system for them to come to. So the staff are holding up. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's been very challenging. The days are long. The nights are very, very cold. And they're working tirelessly uh, around the clock to care for people here. She's urging people to pray primarily for the victims of the earthquake, but also the staff, as the long hours wear on them. I'm Charlie Butts. U.S. benchmark crude oil gained 74 cents to 77.29 per barrel. More news online at AFN.net and on the AFN mobile app. I'm Rusty Keith. Here at KNVBC, we're very grateful to the American Family Radio for allowing us to broadcast their Christian news free of charge. And we encourage you to listen to this brief word from AFA. The single most cited source of ideas in the founding era for the documents we have was the Bible. Historian David Barton. That doesn't sound like a godless constitution when your most cited source is the Bible. Do you want to learn more about the biblical foundation of our nation's constitution? 
Watch God in the Constitution by David Barton from American Family Association's Cultural Institute. It's available on DVD at afastore.net. Good morning. This is February the 20th. God that comforteth those that are cast down. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 6. Who comforts like him? Go to some poor, melancholy, distressed child of God. Tell him sweet promises and whisper in his ear choice words of comfort. He is like the deaf adder. He does not listen. He is in despair and comfort him as you may. It will only bring a sigh of resignation that you get from him. You will bring forth no psalms of praise, no hallelujahs, no joyful sonnets. But let God come to his child. Let him lift up his countenance, and the mourner's eyes glisten with hope. You could not have cheered him, but the Lord has done it. He is the God of all comfort. There is no balm in Gilead, but there is balm in God. There is no physician among the creatures, but the Creator is Jehovah Rophi. It is marvelous how one sweet word of God will make whole songs for Christians. One word of God is like a piece of gold. The Christian is the gold beater, and he can hammer that promise out for weeks. Christian, you need not sit down in despair. Go to the Comforter and ask him to give you consolation. You have heard it said that when a pump is dry, you must pour water down it first of all, and then you will get water. Christian, when you are dry, go to God and ask him to shed abroad his joy in your heart, and then your joy will be full. Do not go to acquaintances, for you will find them Job's comforters after all. Go first and foremost to your God that comforteth those that are cast down. You will soon say, In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Join us each day at this time for Morning by Morning, daily devotionals by Charles Spurgeon, read by Brother Ed Russ. David Crossman from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Canada. We listen to KMBBC.
with a heart for God and country. We're KNVBC. But still our kids can't pray in school They used to read the Bible But now that breaks the rules Even on our money It says in God we trust It's time we Christians show the world That it still stands true for us the country, the country needs the cross, a symbol of redemption, and it paid for us all. A statue of liberty came to save a world that's lost. All across the country, the country needs the cross. That wave so proud But now we burn the stars and stripes We've let old glory down These laws that break our hearts today Were made on Capitol Hill We need to climb that hill once more Where Jesus' blood was spilled the country, the country needs the cross, a symbol of redemption, and it paid for us all. A statue of liberty came to save a world that's lost. All across the country, the country needs the cross all across the country the country needs the cross a symbol of redemption and it paid for us all a statue of liberty came to save a world that's lost all across the country needs the cross All across the country The country needs the cross Lessen someone's dreary mile Do you greet the world with song As through life you pass along Cheering those that you might meet along life's way Give the world a smile each day I smile each day Helping someone on life's way Along life's way From the paths of sin Bring the wanderers in To the master's fold to stay Forever stay Help to cheer the Lord and sad Help to make some pilgrim glad Let your light so be that All the world may see the joy of serving Jesus with a smile Be a shining light today, pointing souls to heaven's glory way. If you let your light so shine that they see the path divine, and you wear a pleasant smile along life's way. 
Give the world a smile each day, a smile each day. Helping someone on life's way. From the paths of sin, bring the wanderers in to the Master's fold to stay. Forever stay, help to cheer the lone and sad. sad. Help to make some pilgrim glad. glad. Let your light so be that all the world may see the joy of serving Jesus with a smile. Just a bright and sunny smile will win Many souls from dreary paths of sin Lift them up on higher planes Where they hear the glad refrains Of the smiling band of workers on life's way Give the world a smile each day, smile each day. Helping someone on life's, way. on life's way From the paths of sin Bring the wanderers in To the Master's fold to stay Help to cheer the lone and sad Help to make some pilgrim glad Let your light so be That all the world may see The joy of serving Jesus With a smile The King met a beggar Come home, oh, hasten to obey. Get in the glory land way. 
I have a friend divine walking with me, making my pathway shine, mighty is he. Jesus, the one I love, gladly I sing. Praises to him above, he is my king. He is my king and reigns forevermore. He is my king to worship and adore him. Oh, I dearly love him, there is none above him. Wonderful is he, this mighty king of glory. He is my king, let all the world proclaim. Proclaim it. He is my king of royal holy fame. And when I get to glory, I will sing the story of his love for me. His love for me. I have a savior dear talking with me. He is so very near, seems I can see. Over life's rugged way, to him I cling. He is my guide and stay, Jesus my King. He is my King and reigns forevermore. He is my King to worship and adore him. Oh, I dearly love him, there is none above him. Wonderful is he, this mighty king of glory. He is my king, let all the world proclaim. Proclaim it. He is my king of royal holy fame. And when I get to glory, I will sing the story of his love for me. King of kings, he reigns forevermore. Wonderful counselor is he. Lord of lords to worship and adore for all eternity, eternity. He is my king and reigns forevermore. He is my king to worship and adore him. Oh, I dearly love him. There is none above him. Wonderful is he, this mighty king of glory. He is my king, let all the world proclaim. He is my king of royal holy fame. And when I get to glory, I will sing the story of his love for me. When I get to glory, I will sing the story of His love for me. Stay. My heart is yours, 
the door is open Listening to KNVBC's Top 100 Playlist. These songs have been chosen from our listeners. You can rate songs and tell us your favorites too. Just download our free KNVBC app on Android and iOS and rate your favorite selections. Let 
rivers and resigned as chilly waters waiting for my final call. Standing by the river, standing by the river, looking beyond, looking beyond, gazing toward the land of fadeless beauty where no surges rise and fall. Standing by the river, standing by the river, looking beyond, looking beyond, standing by the river. Thanks for listening to KNVPC's Top 100. Let us know your favorites by giving them a thumbs up on our free KNVPC apps. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. I just keep trusting my Lord and He gives us song. Clouds darken the sky or the heavenly trail. I just keep trusting my Lord, He will never fail. He's a faithful friend, such a faithful friend. I can count on Him to the very end. Storm clouds darken the sky or the heavenly trail. I just keep trusting my Lord. He will never fail. Tell a friend about KNVBC Revival Radio today. Your home for conservative Christian music and programming.
I recall a slender steeple, a church house filled with people, and voices lifted up in happy song. With music so exciting, so warm and so inviting, I had to enter in and sing along. And as I joined in with them in harmony and rhythm, my voice was lifted up to heaven above. I felt like shouting glory when I heard the gospel story, the songs about my Jesus and his love. I love that good old gospel singing, happy gospel singing, ringing out so loud and clear. Like an angel choir, how it lifts me higher, making heaven seem so near. Come on and join right in the chorus, really swell the chorus, let the happy sound roll on. Everybody sing it, make it ring until the whole world sings along. With voices lifted high, I'd sing sweet by and by, and rock of ages cleft for even me. I love to tell the story of Jesus and his glory. A lesson did my Savior bleed for me. I'd sing, Lord, in the old time power. I need thee every hour, and nothing but the blood can make me whole. Oh, happy, happy day, he washed my sins away. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. I love that good old gospel singing, happy gospel singing, ringing out so loud and clear. Like an angel choir, how it lifts me higher, making heaven seem so near. Come on and join right in the chorus, really swell the chorus, let the happy sound roll on. Everybody sing it, make it ring until the whole world sings along, until the whole world sings along, until the whole world
Jesus said, let he who is innocent cast your stone today. I wasn't there to see her face, but I can almost hear her say, said, I have an announcement I'd like to make today. You see, I have the scars to prove that I've taken this one's place. Merciful to me. Lord 
save me when the Lord save me.
You're listening to KNVBC Revival Radio, broadcasting from Santa Clara, California. The time is 7 o'clock. Send the great revival in my soul. Send the great revival in my soul. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control. Send the great revival in my soul. We welcome you to Revival Time with Dr. Jack Treber, pastor of North Valley Baptist Church and president of Golden State Baptist College. From our studio in the heart of the Silicon Valley, Pastor Treber joins you today for a special time of revival and encouragement. We pray you'll be blessed as you listen to Revival Time with Dr. Jack Treber. Well, hello, good neighbor, and welcome to Revival Time. I'm so grateful that you're listening. You're wide awake. Well, you see, Brother Treber, it's noon where we're at. Well, it might be. Whatever the time is, we're glad you're with us today. Here's a great song. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, today I want to give you a thought of the day. It is President's Day here in the United States of America. And I know we're in other countries being uh, aired as well. But that means we honor the office of our presidents. When I was a boy growing up in school, and even as far as I remember, even all the way through high school, all of our front of the uh, front of the classroom, uh, teacher's desk over there, and a chalkboard on the wall. They were black chalkboards, and they turned the last leg of the journey. Some were turning green. Uh, they made them into green. But... Um, on the left side was a picture of George Washington at the top above the chalkboard. On the right side, Abraham Lincoln. Thank God for great presidents. We've had some bad ones. <laughs> Recent days right now as well, but uh, but they're still the president. Let's pray for the, the office of the president of the United States. Here's the song, Jesus is with me wherever I go. That's a great, great truth today. I counted up not long ago how many presidents have been in my lifetime. Brother Ethan, I want that's your homework assignment right now before the broadcast is over. We're going to compare how many presidents that in your lifetime, do you remember the who would have been the first one when you were born? Clinton. Who, Lincoln? Clinton. Oh, Clinton. <laughs> I heard Lincoln. Lincoln, you've got to be Ken. Ah, oh, oh boy. I think I might have more than you. Um, we'll find out here. No need to doubt him now. There's a great song by the Echoes of Joy Trio right here from North Valley Baptist Church. And there's no need. There's absolutely no need. Nothing is going to touch me that God doesn't know about. He knows everything. 
thank God for you. Proverbs chapter 20 today on this 20th day of the month. 